Hello all, Emrix here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a new soundbar system I've got for my uh, TV. It's a Bose uh, system soundbar. It's called the uh, SoundTouch 300. I've also purchased the virtually invisible surround sound uh, wireless speakers and just recently bought the huge uh, it's like Wolfer uh, bass uh, system speaker for it called the Acoustamass 300. Uh, it's not been without its problems. I've had a lot of uh, HDMI um, dropouts. Which anyway, uh, what I'm going to do first is take you, it's just take you a look through the various um, parts that make up this sound system, and then I'll tell you how I a little bit later in the video I'll explain how I managed to. Um, solve the problem with the HDMI keep dropping out and it works and functions as it should do now thankfully anyway let's take a look at all these a closer look at these components right these new TVs uh, most of them come with something that has a Samsung box now you don't have all the HDMI leads hanging down from the TV itself it all comes down through this very very thin lead and it's just called one connect basically um, all your HDMI is now collect into this box. I've got this lead hidden out of the way. I'm a little bit OCD. It goes up through the wall to my TV, but you can see there's no leads there at all. So I actually put it in the wall and wallpapered it. You can see vaguely where it went down and it was polyfilled in. And here you have the actual back end. You can see there's a uh, HDMI, uh, various HDMI setting. There's uh, optical settings, um, Ethernet connections, etc. But mainly to get this working with our Bose sound system, we need to connect an HDMI, which this is the HDMI here, which is the arc. There's an arc. If you look on the back, there'll be an arc uh, saying work, arc uh, word, where we connect our Bose actually into there. That's important to do that to get the. Uh, connection correct. I've also got a um, Virgin Media V6 in there and I've got a little uh, Android Kodi box fitted in there and there's the power, there's the main lead like I say and the power for the actual one touch if you've got a that's if you've actually got a Samsung uh, Q7 series TV. Um, now that arc connection goes all the way to the Bose bar and you can see it's got this really nice glass top. It is a lovely sort of tactile piece of kit. It's very, very well made. It's very, very heavy. Um, feels off very high quality. And the sound it dishes out is fantastic. Uh, let's go around the back. I'll turn it around. There's not too many connections I require. Basically all I require is the, um, the power lead. There's obviously an F1 net lead there, uh, connection there where you can actually update the uh, software but you can do it wirelessly as well and you've got two HDMI's now the one we saw from the one touch which is in arc you can see HDMI out to TV arc and it goes the other end goes in here to the arc so you've got this effortless switching on and off of the TV and the sound system through one click of the button well that's what you're meant to have but it can create a lot of problems which I've had I'll just have a quick look down to the um, the new speaker I've got, you can see I've got the big, huge, big Bose uh, Wolf uh, bass system, um, which is amazing piece of quality again. This is very, very easy to set up. It literally, if we go around the back, oh, if we go around the back, we can see it's simply just powered up and you just pair it with, the, it's so heavy this thing, it's a lovely bit of kit, and you just pair it, uh, just the power lead goes in and you just pair it. I'm not sure what the other, um, bits and pieces. Oh, you can see the lights on there to show that the power is on. Um, but that's effortless to set up. Easy to pair and we'll go through that in a, in a little bit. Right, we'll leave that as it is. I'll take you over in my room to the, the speakers. I've got those. When you get these speakers, it says they're wireless speakers and they are, but you're still going to have leads trailing down because they need to be powered. It's not as if they've got batteries in them. Um, they keep running out, but you still need, they are wireless to the actual Bose, um, but they are, If you, a lot of people when they purchase these realise they, they think they're going to be completely wireless, but they don't think like, like I did, that you still will have power. And if we go down, 
basically you're going to have, I haven't sorted this out yet, I've got to make it a much more tidier system. You've got the power system, you've there, so that power is all up. Obviously you've got the lead going to the, the actual speakers themselves. So I've got this one and I've got the other one in the other end of the room and there, that's easy enough to power up as well. And there you have it, that's the actual three uh, main components that, that uh, make up this Bose sound system. And um, next thing really is just to show you how I overcome my HDMI dropouts through this uh, 65 inch uh, new Q7 series uh, TV. Right, here you go, here's the various booklets and I believe that many people, including myself, are um, guilty of not looking through all the, the manuals correctly and not making sure that you've programmed everything uh, to get it to work. And the reason I say this is that I've been in the last few months, um, I've had engineers out as well, trying to sort this mess out with the HDMI's uh, dropping out, etc. And I've literally um, narrowed the problem down to programming the main uh, Bose controller, which seems to have solved my problems. Now, what happens is, if you look over to the Bose bar at the moment, you can see, if I zoom in, that there's two lights showing and it shows it's on. And what should happen now, if I use the other, if I use my TV um, controller, I should be able to just press the, uh, on button and it will fire up the Bose and the TV and keep the sound. So if I, right now, if I go to settings on the TV and then I go down to sound and go across, you can see sound out, output is HDMI. And that's what we want. And you can see it's live. Um, if I fire up the I'll just close that bit if I fire up the video. No, uh, there you go. There you go. And it, it's what what it's, what it tended to do was to keep jumping back to TV all the time and dropping out. Very very annoying. Um, sometimes I couldn't get it to work at all. Um, let's just put that on pause again. And what I actually done was something. Uh, well, an error basically. I from the word go. Even though this um, Bose, this is the main Bose controller, even though it didn't work, even though, sorry, even though it worked, um, well, most of it worked, the volume worked and some of the various buttons at the top worked, it wasn't working completely right. And one thing I didn't do, and one thing the engineer didn't do, is actually program this controller um, to the TV. And what you simply have to do is look at the back of the book. It says it quite clearly in the manual. Look at the back of the book of the, you know, the controller manual, and it will tell you uh, how to program it to your uh, specific TV. Now, Samsung is 0060, and there's a method in, you know, there's a, obviously a method how you program that. I won't go through that now in the manual. Just look on how to do that, and it will program it. And the first time I programmed this controller, uh, to my uh, TV, Samsung TV. Um, I haven't had a dropout since. And one problem I noticed before is when I fired up the, I can't show you because I'm using the phone to record this. When I used the app, the Bose app, um, and then flicked it over from um, normal use to um, Bluetooth, I couldn't get back. No matter what I tried, I couldn't get back to, if I clicked the uh, little TV, icon on there it wouldn't work because it wasn't programmed correctly um, it did shine up and everything um, and it partially worked sometimes but it wasn't as it wasn't programmed it wasn't working correctly now if I go to the app and I put it on Bluetooth I only have to press this and uh, this uh, TV icon and it will go, it will just jump straight back into HDMI and all is great um, so basically my HDMI dropout problem has been completely um, result and I'm very very pleased with the unit now I'm happy with it. it's a very expensive unit I mean the Bose um, the, you know the, the Wolfer the base system down at 600 pounds the the bar is another 600 pounds and the surround the two surround sound speakers is 300 pounds so you know you're talking for 1500 pounds for sound system so it should be good it is very very good once it's working but obviously to have an HDMI uh, dropout is an absolute nightmare and a headache keep happening all the time but 
touch wood last three or four days it's been totally fine so if if you can't remember if you programmed the uh, main controller or not to your TV, I should try it. And if you're getting the same problem, it might work for you. It certainly worked for me. Anyway, best luck to all and thanks for watching Emrix.